Well, I got the truck. This is the truck, but where's where's Steve? I have no idea. Hey, don't you know that we can refuse service to anyone? I was going to order something, but with you driving, this can't be fast oh, food. Oh, get around, baby, because this food is delicious. Well, I'm, I'm ordering. The problem is they let me drive the truck. I want a cheese sandwich. <laughs> I can't, I'm not leaving this truck. I have found the trucks from Sue Chef. Zach, welcome to Cheap Eats. Thank you. Sue Chef in a truck, what are we doing? Well, basically we try to get it as classic as possible. We're using French techniques and we're bringing it to the street. Me and the executive chef. Whoa, 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 whoa. Executive chef, you got a sous chef and an executive chef. Like this I, is a truck. We try to do everything as classically as possible. We're, we have a seasonal menu that changes as often as possible. Okay. Well, I see that you're just opening up and you've got a line full of people. What are they going to be ordering today? What, um, what's, what's the best stuff? Well, they're going to be probably getting some of our truffle, white truffle popcorn. We have a braised wagyu beef slider and we have like a bacon grilled cheese with a nice fig marmalade. Fantastic. And I, I'd like to sit at the best table, which is where? Um, Show me the table with the linen. You pick it. <laughs> okay, explain this to me. Why is there a TV monitor outside the truck? We want to give everybody a curbside experience. We want to make sure that they're coming to the truck and they're enjoying themselves while they're there. Well, my partner's going to be in the truck, or maybe he's in there already. I don't know. Uh, let's go in there and take a look. Excellent. You know, this this is a real kitchen inside here. This is no fake deal. This is not going up where they're steaming the hot dogs and laying them out there with a little ice cream truck. This is the real Magilla. We're going to make that gourmet salad on this gourmet truck in Santa Monica on a gorgeous day. So let's do it. This is actually our take on a steakhouse wedge. So what we do is we break our iceberg into half. We put it there. Put a little bit of our, uh, our chimney, black chimney dressing. Is that stuff made ahead of time? Yeah, I, I actually make this probably once a week. I don't buy it in a ketchup no. bottle. I make okay. a uh, balsamic chimichurri, then I okay. make, mix it with creme fraiche. A little bit of winter tomato on there. Well, look at the color. The color is amazing. Blue cheese. Blue cheese. Oh wait, is it this go on it? Yeah, a little bit of bacon. Is this real bacon too? A little bit of bacon. Oh yes. Throw a little bit of our house pickled okay. onions on there too. Oh yeah, let's try that. Throw those guys on. Okay. A little bit of pepper. Look at that. Oh, it's got good taste, flavor. The tomatoes have great color to them. It's smooth. It's got a delightful taste to it. It's not even taste like kind of sauce. You know what I want? This is gourmet. Let's do a flambe! I want a flambe! We'll have to talk to Chef about it. We've had a great day out here. I want all of you to go out there and try the 250 gourmet food trucks in Southern California. Give us a call, give us an email, let us know how you like it. And I want to try every single one. As they say in the trades, just keep on trucking. You better believe it.